Christina Davies from St. Vincent Basilica Parish, offering a scripture reflection on the gospel for November 6th, 2022, the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. What do you believe about the resurrection of the dead? As a Catholic liturgical calendar nears its end, we focus on the final things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. All our readings and our liturgies focus on the end of life and on the end of the whole world. We reflect on who has gone before us and what might lie ahead of us. In today's gospel, Jesus is once again being questioned by the religious authorities. Though they're in authority, the Sadducees are only one of the groups at the top of the establishment. And as with any human organization, the Jewish authorities are divided and disagree about the law, the scripture, the nature of God, and how to live a holy life, along with dozens of other things. They seem to love to debate and argue. Here they are testing Jesus about the belief of the resurrection, and they set a ridiculous scenario to argue that the idea of the resurrection is ridiculous. I can't really blame them. Everything ends or dies. We all know that. Before Jesus' resurrection, no one in human history had ever resurrected. Resurrection was a crazy idea. It still is a crazy idea. It's difficult for our little human brains to conceive of it. But the belief of the resurrection is at the center of our faith. And for that reason, it's included in both our creeds, which we proclaim at every opportunity. Jesus teaches us about God and the resurrection with unquestionable authority in this debate. He teaches that the resurrected life is not going to be like this life, where marriage and other human concerns are a thing. Remember, God's ways are always different from our ways. We can expect our life with God to be very different from our earthly existence. We know from the gospel accounts that the resurrected Jesus was different from before, different from the earthly Jesus who walked and preached and healed. He could walk through walls, for example. He even looked different. His resurrection was so powerful that every person who encountered the resurrected Jesus in the Gospels was deeply transformed. Jesus tells us here that the resurrected dead will never die. They will be like angels. It is a great comfort to us who have lost loved ones. And since the Sadducees use the law as a weapon in their arguments, Jesus reminds them of what Moses, the giver of the law, heard from God. Moses himself spoke of the resurrection when he reported his encounter with the Lord God in the burning bush. In that encounter, God identified himself to Moses as the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob in the present tense, using the present tense. Of course, at the time of the burning bush event, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were long dead. Jesus's point is this. He is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. God revealed in his conversation with Moses that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are resurrected. We as Catholics are called to believe in the resurrection of the body and in life everlasting. It is a struggle to believe. It doesn't make sense, and the world mocks us for this belief. Jesus not only taught about the resurrection and the life of the world to come, he showed it to us. He is the God of the living and not the dead. When we encounter him, our lives will be deeply transformed.